unbelief, disobedience, fear, pride, neglecting prayer, worldliness, and unforgiveness are all ways in which we can place barriers between ourselves and God. His power on its own is unaffected, but the effectiveness of that power in our lives is limited and sometimes just will not exist if we maintain these things. These limitations are not about diminishing God's power, but about restricting our own access to the fullness of his blessings and guidance. To avoid these limitations, the Bible encourages us to cultivate faith, grow faith in God, obedience to his commands, humility, and a close relationship with God through prayer. By doing so, we, are, we align ourselves with God's will and open the door for him to work powerfully in us and through us. The challenge for every believer is to recognize and remove these limitations to allow God to truly have a powerful work in our life. And I'll close with this story. The story is of a guy who went to chop, who, who went to chop down trees. He used an ax to do the work, so he was able to chop down a few trees every day. But then one day, he found out about a power chainsaw, about electric chainsaws. The salesman told the guy, well, look, with this power saw, you can chop down 50 more trees than you can chop now with your own efforts. The guy was quickly sold, and he purchased the electric chainsaw. He went home and immediately tried the saw. The next day, he went to the store where he bought the power saw, and he threw it in front of the counter, and he said, man, you sold me a piece of rubbish. What do you mean, a piece of rubbish, the salesman said. I use this thing. I would normally chop down four or five trees a day. I use this thing, and I didn't even get one tree finished. And the salesman said, what? I didn't get one finished, not one. This thing is junk. The salesman looked puzzled, asked to take a look at the equipment. The guy handed it to him, and the salesman took and pulled the cord. Vroom! went the chainsaw. The guy who purchased the saw was surprised and he says, eh, eh, chino chichi. What is this? What's that noise? He had purchased the saw and had taken it home, not understanding what he had. He never turned it on. He didn't know what type of power was available to him because he didn't know how to work the machine. In the same way, most Christians don't understand what they have in the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit until it's properly understood and properly used.